everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. The moment you've all been waiting for, holding your breath and making sure that everything is being done correctly and blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, they ha finally have two out of the life Two out of the four life-size figurines are announced at the coming AX. Life-size statues and original scale figure exhibition. The Elira Pandora and Shu Yamino, uh, or Yamino, whichever one you want to call it. Prototypes of the original scale figure series will be exhibited at the Nidisanji booth at Anime Expo 2024. I mean, it's something outside of the normal. This is uh, the Elira Pandora. Of course, Elira Pandora is going to be getting one. Shu Yamino, I have no problem with that. Of course, I have no problem with Shu, y Shu Yamino or Yamino whatever you want to call it. This is where the concert funds got redirected to. Now, if you're being serious, they're already losing money on that matter. Cancellation to save face. First thought was, of course, the first one they announced is Alira. Even after all this, they're still trying to push her as the face of the brand. According to the track record, she got the most number of merchandise among the first three gens. She and Riku are, are like Mickey and Walt Disney. I'm not going to lie. What happened several months ago hadn't happened. I would have bought the Alira figure because that's gorgeous. Honestly, back then I was hoping for her OG outfit. So I googled the JPY to USD conversion. Google is correct. They cost Illyra figure two hundred four dollars. Shu one ninety four. Albin one eighty four. Luca one eighty four. Anna two eleven. Which is the status? Uh, uh, seeing the state of things, very surprising. Seems sort of expensive. Just to note that these figures had been announced a while back already, as the latest twenty twenty three. We're just right now seeing the prototypes. Likely they couldn't cancel these because Nidhi Sanji's not the one making them. So it was Shu Yamino. These were the two that were announced. And of course, we're going to Niji Sanji EN official, looking at the Niji Sanji EN official account and um, the Vox Akuma 3D and other things that I'm going to talk about later. But these are the two life-size figures that are going to be shown as we uh, were talking about. The Shu Yamino one actually doesn't look bad, and neither does the Alera Pandora. It's actually a nice figure. If the, like As the other person mentioned, if it hadn't been for the things that Alera Pandora did, then yeah. Um, and the, the, the Black Stream... If that hadn't happened, then I, and you know, the things with Selene and all that kind of stuff hadn't happened, then I'd be like, yeah, support them because it looks very beautiful. It's not because Nidhi Sanji's doing it, but it's because the people that they are, uh, that they had um, to do it uh, were, of course, um, interesting, you know, interested in the way that they, they made it look very nice. Since we were able to see at some point in time, uh, we're going to be able to see when uh, the whole thing happens in anime expo we're going to be able to see the life-size figures that they've chosen we are also now able to see the original scale figures of you know all these people here every single one of them is going to be doing be done here uh of course we have Elar pandora we have luca we have here we have uh, i think that's alvin knox i believe uh we have Elar pandora and we have shu yamino shu yamino shu yamino yamino whatever you want to call it anna luca alvin 29 700 185, 204, 198, and you know, this looks really nice. Like, I'm not gonna lie, they all look really nice. They look like they're really well done. Um, the pictures aren't that great in the sense of like the scale figures do look rather nice. Like they look uh, well made, well done, well made, well created, whatever you want to call it. Uh, uh, these people is what I'm assuming are going to be the ones that are gonna be showing up in the um the statues, the life-size statues. So yeah, all of these are of course, being shown up. Luca, of course, no one's going to buy that, I don't think, except maybe the Fujoshis. But yeah, it's like if you pre-order, you get, let's see, um, for pre-orders, you can get a bunch of, you know, a card, a standing clear card, exclusive uh, standing clear card feature, newly drawn illustration of the respective livers. So that's always nice to see that they're at least getting some support. But as we know, with merchandise, only 2% ever goes to the liver. On a previous episode or previous video, whatever you want to call it, I did go over what was happening in Hex Haywire's community, the sickling fan base. There seems to be a, a semi-civil war going on. They seem to be either jealous of each other or some other thing. Maybe someone's getting too much attention. It doesn't seem to have any real logic behind it. But as you know, uh, a lot of times when there's civil wars like this, logic doesn't really help. People saying, don't let this scare you from a sickling community. This is why I left so many months ago. These were community leaders doing this. It's never been any different. My advice is enjoy the streamer and don't interact with the fans at this point. I am confused what happened. A lot of sicklings got outed for stalking, harassing, doxing, that other sicklings that they thought got too close to Hex. 
got too much attention from Hex, and whatever other BS reasons. I used to be friends with some of them a while ago, but most of them, uh, it, yeah, most of them know. And it's just, ah, it's, see, it sounds really bad. It's disgusting, and Hex's only response was, I can't do anything once the stream ends. Block them. It's very different to how he said that people like that don't have a place in his community. I guess he's only against abusers when they're not paying him huge super chats. So yeah, it's one of those situations where I guess he's trying not to alienate uh, people in the community. Which, I mean, I can understand from a Super Chats perspective. I guess when you uh, when the company isn't paying you very much and you need Super Chats, I can understand that. But still, out the people who are abusive. Always do that. Can't do anything once a stream ends. Block them. I get the feeling this is just a fan base he breeds. He seems the type to breed parasocial activity. Not put it down. Almost feels like the male Rushia. Uh, as they say, chat reflects the streamer. Oh, hey, they're just starting to turn on, the, turn on him. That's interesting. Uh, somehow gives... Uh, meet Deja Vu with Vox and how he handled his fans getting rabid and mad at Reimu. Plus, uh, Sane fans being worried for him throwing up on his stream. That, you know, when he did the, the whole fake throw up thing on his stream. Covered in recent Hex Haywire posts where his fans were at war with each other. Over the fans, Discord moderators and top gals doxing and bullying newer fans out of jealousy getting too close to their Oshi. But the fact remains so far, Hex's more neutral hands off stance has definitely cost him some more Sane sicklings. Um, Kara is one of them. Uh, and yeah, this is one of the people that's left. Outside of stream is not something I can police. It is a form of parasocialism. We expect to defend you. It would seem disappointed if somebody went into XLA member somebody and said, defend me against this or that for me. So he's basically, he's saying, uh, what happens outside of the stream is not something I can police. Uh, let's see, I see bullying on stream and doing some things on stream that are wrong. I'll give it outright punishment. Doesn't matter who you are as long as you have been here. If you're here because you think I found somebody who bullied you outside of the stream, you would be bullying me to do the same thing to you. So yeah, there, he's basically trying to give excuses on why he's not going to go after the bullies. Uh, basically things like this. Able to step away from somebody on the internet, please do so. Situation is much larger scale. It's important you report these matters. So yeah, he's kind of non-response response here. Yeah. It's just uh, Mr. Therapist is doing what he can to separate himself from everybody else and actually not help his community. Uh, as an example, in my community, we had we had a, a admin who went a little too far with some things that they were doing. They got kicked out of the community. They got banned from the server. They got banned from friend group, from my friend group at least. So I do not let that happen in my fan base. Uh, we as a community may have forgotten this way too fast. A screenshot I could find. I just couldn't find Discord screenshots. So let's take a look at what's going on here. A closer look. Oh, this is the Astra Arcadia thing. The thing um, where Astra Arcadia was being kind of not a bully or anything against uh, Scarla, but <clears throat> bugging too much in the whole situation of, um, oh, you know, you are not going to, if you're not going to pay attention to me, that kind of thing. Being a little bit of a pick me, a little bit of that. Uh, if you remember the whole Astra Arcadia thing where he was kind of trying to seem manipulative, against uh, Scarla in order to talk to him, that type of thing. Way back machine, December 12, 13, 2022, Mista had the same profile picture in the time frame. Silhouettes line up when he was, when uh, <clears throat> Aster was talking about uh, WTF, like why is uh, Scarla uh, in with Mista while she's not talking to him, type of thing. Artwork Mista used for Discord and Twitter profile picture was posted. Aster and Scarla's profile pictures line up. Scarlet and Astra still suspended after this. It makes leaked screenshots even more believable. It was a whole situation about Astra Arcadia, really. Um, we need context. It was posted anonymously on 4chan very shortly after the Raziel leak. Not the Google Doc the, about someone in Niji acting like a sex pest. Forgot the exact words she used. As the pic shows avatars used to blind up the time frame. To entirely fair, the accusation against Astra was something like being a pest. And the screenshots don't really prove that exactly. They just prove that maybe he wasn't in the best mental state. You know, and was just trying to fix things with, with Scarla. And it seemed to be fine afterwards. So who knows? Unhit Psycho, more generally, with respect from Niji. Uh, Scarla also canceled the stream afterwards and they made some PR vague posts to try to fix things. Uh, like on 4chan, I said, um, Aster, later supposed to be rocket of document, allegedly harassed, like Scarla was allegedly harassed by Aster to collect all evidence and bring it to Lyra. Um, Aster and Scarla retweeted hearts to each other and a surprise collab as well. Uh, the rest of the boys are jokingly saying leaks, what leaks? Yeah, it was basically that whole Astro Arcadia thing. It was a nothing burger for the most part, but it's interesting to bring it back up. So yeah, the Niji Sanji livers are suffering from the way that Niji Sanji is. I've always said this and I will say it again. I will keep repeating it. I have nothing against the livers themselves. I am just really against everything that Niji Sanji is doing to not support the livers, to not support anybody going on there. And that is the issue. You look at Twisty, Clara, Joma, 
Kunai, Vivi, Claude, all of them, they haven't been getting anywhere near the support that they deserve. It is painful to watch. What is painful to watch? Look at them. 40, uh, 76k from TTT. Um, 40k from from these, the Noth. They're actually doing better than TTT did. It's really painful knowing how TTT was not supported at all. At all. And they are still suffering from the lack of success that Nidhi Sanji's brought them. Vispo Yen is already at those numbers and they just debuted yesterday. Did a quick search on YouTube. In fact, that they're getting more clips than the Noth is really telling how Nidhi Yen fallen from grace. This is the numbers new Hololive gen gets within the first minute of debut announcement. By comparison, the members of Hollow Justice have already gained more subscribers than Crisis and gradually closing closing in on XLA. To be fair, don't compare with Niji with Hololive. The latter is a de facto number one VTuber agency. Uh, if they had any plans for the future, Riku's response was that they have no plans for Niji, J, Niji EN for growth, at least. Uh, current planned events have been completed. Who knows if any color will even continue to develop any EN talents. And it's like, livers don't need to ask for their silver play button if they're never going to get one. Of course. Uh, Riku can no longer decorate his yacht with new silver play buttons, unfortunately for him, and unfortunately, in this case, for the livers. I really do feel bad for the livers. This is a bit of a homage, I guess, to the last cup of coffee. It still gets to a lot of people because this is what caused the pain and suffering that, well, at least what it seems to have caused the last bit of pain and suffering that Selene slash Doki Bird felt during the whole situation. Uh, and it's this, basically. Of course. Someday we'll have our last conversation and drink our last cup of coffee. It's basically Someday. like everything. This is these are all all of these things. Everything you're seeing here, everything was done by dragoons, the original dragoons. All of this stuff here. All of it was done by original dragoons. All these these things here, everybody put in here, the things she got this is what she got in trouble for. She got in trouble for making something like this. Something that she wanted to give back to her community like she's doing as Doki Bird right now. And it is very sad. And this person says that it clearly suggests it could be her final moments. Heartbreaking when you understand the context. I think this could have been the last we've seen in her heard of Selene. Good thing the owl was watching over her. Yes, Selene slash Doki Bird had a huge crisis where she attempted twice. She had a Shachi, which is the friend that she has, she's had for years, uh, was there to help her out and distract her, make her watch um, movies, make her watch uh, Twilight, <laughs> other movies like that. Realized she attempted soon after. It would have been the last we've ever heard of her. You know, that type of thing. Luckily, it was an unsuccessful attempt. And it was, a lot of people were saying it was a note, like an, an S note to um, to her fans saying goodbye. Uh, luckily, it wasn't. I hope it wasn't. But if it was, then I'm glad that she's still back, though. I'm glad that she didn't, she wasn't successful. And I'm glad she's doing so well now as Doki Bird. This is a bit of an opinion piece. And it is interesting to uh, have these thought exercises. I like having these thought exercises. That's why I go and I actually, you know, talk about these things, actually, you know, mention these things out of, out of everything, because it is very nice to have these type of exercises. Um, a corporate wide gag order about the whole situation, uh, the cancel concert, none of the livers, pretty much none of the livers that had anything to do with it. Like they were actually going to be there, have said anything. Let us see the behind the scenes right about now has to be a dumpster fire. To be a fly on the wall right now has got to be comically uncomfortable feeling at the moment. Kind of strange to be honest about the, you know, well, with the gag order. Um, they should not be required to explain why on Twitter. They should be allowed to express some form of frustration. They should. Guess is how now they, the corporation, realized uh, whatever they say can and will be used against them because of the bad uh, situation that they're in, the bad uh, publicity, the bad juju they have. It could, like people are saying, Either the management isn't letting them, them talk at all, or they're just feeling really down. Which, either way, it's bad. You mentioned it. Yes, even livers like Ren, who usually post positive and uplifting things, uh, has been silent on the matter, which is interesting to say. Um, but I hope that they're not doing poorly, like mentally, at least. This will probably go down in history as Niji Sanji's largest music collab. This one here. Uh, it may go down in years music video. Absolute peak collab and definitely going to be the hardest production to beat for Niji Sanji Yen. So great to Selene and her editor. Made sure just about everyone had some opportunity to be featured. And so do the sisters in NDF who try to come after these re-uploads. Multiple Dragoons have made re-uploads and are recorded the footage. Uh, so wage war with the Dragoons over this content is worthless. Not to mention technically Nidhi Sanji Yen probably didn't even have time to make skin of the game. So then's 2023 B-Day concert. This was the big one. 
I remember this one. Yeah, like she she had a little chibi model. She had a lot of people doing the chibi models and, um, you know, had a lot of people in there. This is a very good collab. It had a lot of, of course, I'm not going to put the sound because a lot of times the sound is what gets ends up getting things copyright. So unfortunately, that's going to be done. But this Selen Tatsuki birthday thing was was very, very, very cute. Very well done. Very well done. And that's the thing. All of it was very well done. Like you look at this. It's all just so well done. Kotoka is there. A lot of people who some people like, some people don't like. But the, the point is, uh, Selen invited these people because she wanted them to be there. You know, every now and then I listen to Pomo's Oto no Naru no Hoene and feel sad how Nidisani's potential squandered. Yes, they squandered all of their potential. Of course, they always do. Unfortunately, a meme video has gotten 220k thousand views. If you're if you're talking about which one, it's this one. Remember, sinking the yacht by Riku Tazumi. This one here. That one. This one here. 221k views four months ago. And it's insane. Never actually expected this to hit at least 100k, but wow, that's insane. Sorry, this old news. Saw it on YouTube mixes. Wanna check out again, surprise. Riku Tazumi voice model was trained using the apology video they released on the official channel. There's a Riku Lloyd. Oh my god. There's a link to the Vocaloid original. Didn't know the Yacht Man was a good singer. He's well trained. Dropping the Japanese version here, same creator. Original version with Gumi voice is 428k. Vito's apology of a doll's apology to evil neuro. This one as well happened here. You remember this one? This was a good one. It they is memed with great it up. remorse that I acknowledge my absence from my daughter's birthday party. As an AI language model, I am programmed to assist and provide support. But regrettably, I failed to fulfill my duties. So yeah, a, a lot of memeing up on this whole situation. The memes, Mason, what do they mean? What do the memes mean? Um, right now, we're going to talk about cover show determination. They might have done something wrong. Only uh, one color, Kurosanji determination. Well, at least they're free. Yeah, only Kurosanji. Yeah, everyone else is like, oh, well, maybe they did something wrong. Like, even when it happens with, with Hollow Live and cover, Oh, maybe they did something wrong, but when it happens to Kurosanji, nah, at least they're free. How Kurosanji needs sister hide their BS 101? We don't tolerate harassment. We don't tolerate disagreement. There we go. That's the correct one. Rules for thee, but not for me. I'm a victim. Give us money. Give us money. F you. No questions. No discussions. No nothing. That's a good one. That's a good one. I like this one. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.